You must be lying if you're saying that you haven't watched at least one of these videos before. Do you want to become a millionaire? So you watch all of the Tony Robbins seminars and watch all these and once again, my usual thought process is, can automate? The answer is obviously yes. That's why in this video I built a bot that can automate the process of generating these money motivation videos without lifting even a single finger. Honestly, I'd say this was my most complex project yet. It was even harder to get it to work than the malware, which was hard enough. Also, this is going to be available to everyone, so make sure to stick around in order to find out how you can get access to this bot. So let's get straight to work. First, I had to pick a name. It would be too boring to name it Money Printer V3, so I came up with something new, something original, and the name I chose was Gilddrucker. It literally just means money printer in German. Now, before throwing myself into VS Code as usual, let's just think it through for a moment. Here's the approach I'm thinking of. We can either let the user enter the URL to a TikTok or Instagram reel, and the program will copy the entire audio of that video and make a completely new one out of it. Or, we can just get the text straight from the user and read it out using a text-to-speech engine. But compromising is something that I never do, so let's just implement both. To make this automation bot accessible, I chose to do something which is unusual for me and that is to make it into a Discord bot using Discord Pi, so everyone who wants to use it can just join the Discord server and subscribe if they want to. Anyways, let's create a virtual environment using Venv and then install the Python packages that we need for this project, and that's pretty much it for the setup. Next, let's create our project structure, and we just need 5 folders in this case, classes, utils, temp, assets, and output. We will save the generated video to the output folder at the end, and temporary files such as all audio will be saved to the temp folder. Now let me explain how the video generation is going to work. So as I mentioned earlier, there are two ways to generate a video. Here's how the first one is going to work. The user calls the existing slash command, which takes three arguments. Interaction, which is provided by Discord Pi, the URL of the existing TikTok or Instagram video, and last but not least, whether the video should include subtitles or just the audio. First of all, the bot sends a message to the user that the generation is in progress. After that, it goes ahead and downloads the video either from TikTok or Instagram. This was particularly tricky to implement, as social media platforms don't really like automation or when you download stuff from them without their permission. And sadly, just using Firefox profiles again wasn't enough in this case. So I searched for a solution and eventually found a package called Instaloader for Instagram and TikTok Downloader for TikTok. The only difference between these two packages isn't just the platform itself, but it's how they fundamentally work. Instaloader directly communicates with Instagram either through Selenium or HTTP requests. But TikTok Downloader, on the other hand, uses third-party providers to download the videos. And the one I went with is Snaptic, as I've used it a bunch of times in the past already. When it was on dropshipping arc especially. We now need to find some clips we can use for our motivational video. Thankfully, I didn't have to look very far, as one of my Discord mods, link in the description by the way, had already sent me like a lot of them, so thank you Hamza. I calculated the amount of clips needed based on the length of the audio, and just added another extra clip, just so there's no unnecessary black screen if the amount doesn't fit perfectly. After we set our clips, we can then move on to generating the subtitles for the video. I used assembly AI once again here. We can export the subtitles into SRT format and equalize them in a way so that each frame only holds around one word, which makes the overall pace of the video very quick, which is obviously great, since so many of us literally have the attention span worse than that of a goldfish, which is daunting and pretty funny at the same time. Regardless, we can now burn the subtitles into our video by using the subtitles clip class from MoviePy. The video is now pretty much done, and this does render entire video. Here's an example. I decide to get rich, Rich. I wanted 30 or 40,000 every month. If I had that much money, I could do whatever I wanted. That's what I decided. But again, we want two ways to generate a video, so let's implement the second way now. And in order to do that, we need a voiceover, including a popular TikTok song, preferably funk. So I went to work and ended up with a pretty good playlist of these songs, which I actually kind of like, and we're going to use that as our primary source of music. Regarding the voiceover, for the text to speech, we can use HTTS, which, as I said in one of my previous videos, is an amazing way to generate speech for free. I am going to eventually add the option to use 11 Labs for the people who purchased the subscription, but for now, I'll just go with HTTS. Now wait a second, we know how we want to speak, but we have no idea where to get the script from. Usually, I just use ChatGPT for this, but since AI wouldn't really have a good time generating a script that doesn't sound like an NPC talking, I just added it as an argument to the slash comment. Now we can generate the subtitles again, set the clips and audio, and we end up with a video similar to this one. Rule number 15. Become so successful in life that those who went to school with you flex about it to everyone and show it off. 
Honestly, this turned out way better than I thought it would, and the video quality is actually insane since I used a bitrate of 8 million. Unfortunately, that comes with the downside that it takes a bit longer, but who actually cares if it takes 3 minutes instead of 2? Like really bro? And although the bot is basically finished, I decided to add another couple commands for the convenience of everyone. For example, to get all songs, voices and fonts that are available. If you want to use this bot yourself, visit this website right here and log in to your Discord account. After that, you'll be redirected to a site where you can get access to the bot, manage your subscription and see some videos that the Geltrucker bot has generated. That was it for this video guys, I generally hope you enjoyed it and if you did, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. And as always, until next time. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.